forearm sleeve idea. Cap, Drew Jones, bro. Hold up, bro. I'm gonna go to his Instagram right now. Bro, the whole gang was wearing that. No forearm sleeve. No forearm sleeve. That's high school. I said Phillies. He's wearing it right there, was he not? No, he's not. No forearm sleeve. There you go. There you go. Yeah. It's like. That is only four. That's like bro. three quarters. That's not the same thing. That's like elbow. It's like three quarters. This is our car style wear shoes, though. That's where I got the idea from, like, car style. Best hitter on the team, OBP 1000. through two times through whatever it is okay and we gotta start it's the little things i've told you guys a million times it's just it's the it's the smallest of small things I, we're down five runs we can never get picked off in that situation never shortly there's so much work that we have to do we got to do all the little things we got to throw the ball across the field we got to catch the ball the, the talent is here the, the target's there okay that's that's a, that's a good team we've got everything we need but we got to get our minds right because we're, we're not as strong as we think we are but it's here. We understand we got a couple of guys banged up, okay? That, that's part of playing baseball. It's a long freaking season, okay? We're, we're not we're not done. We haven't seen, I think, that caliber probably since opening day uh, of what what you know some really good clubs look like. Okay, we saw a good arm, we'll see another good arm tomorrow. So the real challenge is to see after one, day one, you know, day two, can we can we bounce and, and, and get at these people? Bring it all three, one, one two, two, three, three. Bring Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. 2233, I'm on 10 again, yeah. State your name, BB. Why not leave the yard? <laughs> Why not? Dude, if Jackson Henry leaves the yard, I'm gonna, run, I'm gonna go run the bases with him. Around the long time, you are one friend and supporter of Franklin Community Athletics.
It doesn't sound like a fit. Shout out, hey, follow me on Instagram at jfowl17 underscore. I don't know what my Twitter is. My Snapchat's like jsfowler with two R's. He's throwing. Very slow. Very slow. And a baby! Let's go, Drew. Let's go, baby. Outstanding. You know, always feels good to uh, absolutely wipe a team slate when all they did was run their mouth on social media. Uh, shout Is out, really? Guys. Yeah. Can you set? Yeah, just, just keep going. Keep saying what you said. Uh, check out Frank Touch a Barstool. That Drew Doty. Absolute shove club. I just got smoked on my back. Uh, all I know is uh, Frank Touch Mini's better than Frank Touch And at the end of the day, Frank Touch K, baby. Was there ever a day? Was there ever a doubt? Was there Absolutely really not. ever a doubt? No, I was we seen Max put a ball 120 miles an hour, about 400 dead center. You know, I just felt like we really had the momentum at that point, and they just had no answer. They had no answer for Doty on the mound, and no answer for Clark in the box, and that's just the rest of the season. Dub, baby, dub. Let's go. Right. You cool with the video recording? Yeah, that's fine. All right. All right, this is Jude with Blue Crew here with player of the game for Franklin, Max Clark. How did, how did you feel the game playing? You know, absolutely, man. Coming out here, obviously, you had a huge crowd tonight. Uh, everybody in their family and the extended family came out. So the energy was fantastic tonight. And then, obviously, you got a place like this at Victory Field. There's nothing you can do but go out and uh, take home a W. Um, I, felt, I felt pretty good from the start, um, but everybody else just kind of backed me up. And, Everybody played their game tonight. That's what we really needed. So that was that was one of the best all-around games we played as a team. You know, Drew Doty absolutely shoving for all the entire game, seven innings uh, against a good lineup. And then seeing uh, guys like Landon Basie in the leadoff spot for the second time this year, absolutely raking. Um, two really good at bats, especially with the leadoff spot, uh, the leadoff single to start the game that really got everything going. And from there, we just took off as a team. So that was definitely the best we played as a team this year. You guys are going to take this game and run with it, use this momentum later in the season. I think that this is going to be our turning point. Um, obviously, this wasn't the beginning that we wanted, but after this game, I think this is the first time that we've had a team that we've come all together and played our best ability. So I think from here, we're just going up. So I'd love to see how it goes. All right, thank you. So what was all this like? I mean, you've obviously been on a lot of big stages in your time. What uh, what what was this like with your teammates? You know, like exactly what you just said, um, the ability to come out here with the high school teammates, that's where the difference really is. Um, obviously, when I'm going out and competing on a national stage by myself, it's a, it's a surreal feeling. Yeah. But to be able to come out to a place like Victory Field and hand it to a team like we did as a team, yeah. that's just something you can't ask. And just kind of putting Franklin on a map as a team 
is just something that is very special. And I know that this was one of the most uh, probably amazing experiences that anyone has ever on the team has experienced. I, I told him earlier, I was like, I want to be back here in June. Right. Um, obviously, we have probably one of the toughest sectionals to deal with, you but do. just do. coming, coming out of that sectional, I think if we can get past CG, then right. it's only up from there. So okay. I told him just to be determined to come out here in June, be ready to play. Thank you, young man. Yes, Good sir. to see you again. You Okay. Go up there, okay? He needs to go back up that way, alright? Yeah. What's up, buddy? Good job. Who's your favorite MLB player? Right now, Tim Anderson, probably. Oh, okay. Show me you, show me you. I think. Hey, I commented in his Instagram after our team played his team in the state champion. I said L and then. He responded and got all mad and said I asked him for workouts, but I never did. It's okay though, because we're going to squash it right now. Alright, not. Alright. Nice to know this hey, No. Dude, you played me in your Instagram comments. Oh, I yeah. I called L and then you yeah, said I, I asked for workouts. Yeah, you did though. No, you did. I didn't. So he says he, he wants did. to squash the beast. Uh, Alright, hey, beast squash. Yeah. Beast squash. That's it. You you got got it you you it. Huh? Oh, you know, it's sectional draw night. We got Franklin based out here in Buffalo Wild Wings. About to, about to see the fate of our season. Uh, China's got back to the beach. Are you lying? My name's Knaibo, Ranch Police. You missed me. Thank you. You got, you, you got much no. real estate too? No, yeah. Uh, huh? I was wrong. Yeah, you're fine. You can have it. Oh, Ten miles. J-Mag Fathead for sectional pairing, man. Where are they going? Why? <laughs> this spot tastes like candy. Sweet like fruit <laughs> this ice cream. I low key just got sturdy. Are you recording? Still recording. Let's go. This ice cream ran me about four months. Oh, yes, sir. Four months. That made us spend four months on a day. So first, I just wanted to thank you all for coming out to celebrate this amazing night in honor of my fantastic brother Mason and my beautiful sister-in-law Tiffany. For those of you who may not know me, I am Mason's much younger little brother, Max. Growing up together with such age differences creates some unique memories for us. There were stressful times for Mason, like saving me from choking to death, where he had to force a penny-sized earring out of my mouth and let it be known I did not cooperate one bit. <laughs> and then there were times when he couldn't find his baseball equipment, like bats and gloves, because I carried them off somewhere, deeming my importance as an aspiring t-ball athlete. <laughs> there were annoying times for Mason too, like when his fanatical toddler brother would distract parents and spectators at his baseball games, hitting balls into nets for hours instead of watching Mason's team on the field. 
My volume, looks, and obnoxious behavior annoyed him enough that I was dubbed the name Spongebob. <laughs> Even though I added some stress to his life and often annoyed him, there were some perks too. <clears throat> Mason basically got to have two birthday parties each year until I started school and made friends of my own. <laughs> Man. His teenage friends were my best friends too, so they were the only ones invited to my birthday parties each year, which I'm sure they just fully enjoy. <laughs> Another perk, Mason would have to admit that having a cute, two-headed, very social baby brother was just the thing to get all the girls' attention. He strolled me around more than once like a cute little puppy to start conversations with some fine young ladies. <laughs> but don't worry, Tiff, you're absolutely my favorite. <laughs> As I got older and became a real brother, our bond became strong. We played endless hours of baseball together, including taking over to the family room when weather kept us from playing outside, and I broke probably seven bases. Adam and <laughs> Good talks as we engrossed ourselves in ESPN, and then we became the best of friends. Since then, he's been my go-to guy, my confidant, and will always be the one who feels equally passionate for my sport. He's the one who really gets me. The only thing he razzes me about these days is being spoiled. I can't really help that since both of my siblings were out of the house by the time I was eight. And I'll admit that it works in our favor. Right, Zach? Um, but let's face it, we definitely got the best cards when we turned 16. <laughs> I'm incredibly grateful to you, Mason. Thank you for being the best role model, model, friend, brother, son, and now a husband and father. I've been all watching you and Tiffany together, and I know you will build a beautiful life together. <laughs> Tiffany? As soon as I met you, I knew you were the one for Mesa. You instantly fit into our family and have treated me like your brother since day one. I'm grateful for your genuine interest in me and all that you do for me and my family. Your fun spirit shows by your willingness to host me and my friends at your house after seven hours of baseball and 97 degree weather. I also, agree, or I also appreciate when you channel your inner Gordon Ramsay because you make some of the best food I've ever had in my life. I love you for seeing Mason as the man he is. Handsome, charming, witty, kind of, like no other, an extraordinary, an extraordinary movie quoter and hilarious impersonator, hardworking, incredible character, deeply committed and passionate, a gifted musician, writer, how he brings love, fun, and life into our world. It's obvious you appreciate all of these qualities in Mason. You are a beautiful bride, a wonderful mother, and I'm certain you'll be the perfect wife. Since my brother is well known for his incredible life, writing skills, I'd like to propose this to us. Mason and Tiffany, may your life together be the best love story ever. Oh. <laughs>